Okie dokie. Good morning, friends. Give me a second while I launch myself into my luxury pit. And in a damn good mood. It's uh, 12.30, just about. Appears to be very little noise pollution coming over. Wait. As always, whoa, oh, that's better. <laughs> As always, nothing rehearsed or whatever. Just uh, on with the show. And I've been inspired to talk about a topic stemming from my latest little tribute blog to midshipmen fellow subby, Master Kane. Anyway, when I was a sealed not nutter, right? I'm going back <laughs> uh, late 80s, 1980s, right? And I was living in a fabulous little historical market town called Ledbury, which is at the foot of the Malvern Hills, right? in the areas of Herefordshire, Worcestershire, Gloucestershire. And incidentally, I used to clean the windows at Gloucester Cathedral. So there you go. Anyway, <clears throat> I was a, a boozer, a fellow boozer in a fabulous little country pub called The Horseshoe, right? Uh, and Ledbury is famous for its hops, um, its apple orchards, and its ciders cider manufacturers uh, but anyway back on topic I met a guy called um, oh his name has escaped me again Noel Roberts right who later he was a fruit bat right he was a total Oliver Cromwell fanatic he knew anything and everything about Oliver Cromwell even to this where he got the information from I don't know his brain was half a pound heavier than the average male but anyway, he was a member of this fantastic brigade called the Sealed Knot. And he blagged me into joining, right? So I went and viewed a couple of local historical battles, right? Um, Gloucestershire, around Gloucestershire, Herefordshire. And I thought, wow, I'm into this. Not only because it was just so madly colourful, exciting, there was real ale, real grog. You stayed on the battleground for two, two or three days, and the public came to watch from a safe area because it got, it could get pretty dangerous, right? So yeah, I joined, and I bought a caravan, right? And I bought the gear, which was actually quite expensive, and I was uh, enlisted in as a pikeman, right? With the royalists. And uh, I was then invited to, because it's up to you whether you, you, you've got the time to go and be part of a, a battle reenactment. But there was one going off way down in Western Supermer, right? And it was called the Battle of Hutton Moor. I've tried to do a, a search on that. There's no recordings of, of any film footage of, of, of that, but there are film footage of uh, recent battles, which may impress you. Um, if I can find out how to put a link in, I'll put a connection in, or Master Kane may do it for me, right? Um, but anyway, I joined, and I had to quickly learn how to avatar, avocur, sorry. And as a pikeman, it, it was a big pike staff, right? Uh, you had the musketeers, you had the, the, the riders, the cannons, uh, and everything else. And I had no idea what I was about to let myself into, right? But the other uh, terrific pull was in the evening, when all the public had gone home, you all went on the grog in this huge marquee, right? And you got straw bales, and the wenches with those you know, showing the bosoms and all that kind of stuff. And a lot of them were single. Get my drift, Chris, 
Oh, yes. Anyway, so you're on the grog. You're actually allowed to run a little stall, right? Um, selling little bits of second-hand stuff for the, for the public, to, to keep the public interested, you know. And I, at the time, was fretworking silhouette clocks, right? And I'll, I'll get to that in a second, but... <clears throat> Uh, yeah, that, that was the big attraction, was, oh my god, maybe I'll find a real honey and we can travel the length and breadth of England in the caravan, right, just following all the, the, the battles and the crusades and that kind of stuff, you know. Um, but anyway, at the morning of my first battle, uh, I just set up my store and covered it up about to cover it over so i could attend it when the battle was over and the public were ar allowed around to buy off us any bits and pieces of objet d'art and this general in his regalia walked past swaggered it was a wonderful moment he swaggered past all these feathers and all these regalia and stuff and he had some members with him and he pointed and looked at my store and he went, oh my god, Batman has worked his way into the sealed knot. I don't believe it. And he sounded like Victor Meldry, right? But what, what he saw was, I used to do cat clocks, silhouette cat clocks, and this and that. But I did a Batman logo with the seconds, uh, second hands and, and hour and, and minute hands in white. Just totally black, and that was on featured on, one <laughs> on with amongst up, other clocks that I had, which was like apple clocks, a carrot clock to put in the kitchen, and, and that. Um, I actually made a bit of a decent living selling those in, in shopping centres. But anyway, we're called to arms, right? And Noel Roberts, later the mayor, mayor of Ledbury, and if there's any seal not is watching this, if that guy's still alive, please, please give him a nod. I have never seen him since the late 80s, never. He was a brummy, but living in, in Lebby in the same little street as I was, right? And we were called to the task, and then I was chivied into line but behind all the other pikemen, right? And they shouted, Avicur, and you had to put your pike up, and you had to walk with your hand on your hip, right? the, the, the free hand on your hip, rather gay, you know. I thought, oh my God. And we're marching away, and the, the adrenaline starts pumping, right? Uh, and you're thinking, this, this feels like it's going to be for real. And then you got all the women on the out, uh, on the edges of the uh, battlefield, ready to run in. And what what they would do later, all of the dead. All the injured were all, try they tried to tend to all the injured and drag them off the field or do this and do that. But the dead, what they did, or pretending to be dead, they were looting their bodies, stealing anything they could find, which was probably what they did in, in times of yore, you know, whatever. But um, anyway, we're all instructed and I'm looking ahead. We're, we're all lined up, right? And all of a sudden, the pipe men are all pushed out to the front. I thought, oh bugger. And I'm looking behind me, and all the guys behind me, they've all got this regalia and stuff, and they're on they're bloody real horses, you know, muskets, the whole kit and caboodle, which you'll see in, in a link that, that will, will be there. It's scary as hell. I, I watched it today and I thought, how on earth did I ever get through that? And a photograph was taken of me at the end of that battle, dripping in blood from a gash over the top of my nose, right? and the helmet all to cop and the, the guy was a close friend of mine but he kept that photo on I, I never got a, a copy of it which is a bit of a pity but anyway um, so what happened is the pike men go out and they form a push and then their pike men come out and it's who can push which team of pike men back into the enemy lines or the opposing lines right and I turned out to be the weediest of the entire lot. Amongst the um, members are paid, uh, what did he call them? Uh, mercenaries, right? And the night before, 
I realised why there were so many Scottish guys in the sealed knot, you know, and all the way down at, uh, at uh, Western Super Murray. It's a hell of a long way to travel to, to do an, a reenactment battle. But anyway, these guys were bruisers, absolute bruisers. And I thought, oh my God, what's it going to be like from the opposing side? Anyway, we go out, and the, this shouting to me, do this, do that, do that, bash in, headbutt them, do whatever you can. This is for real, and I'm going, oh, frig, right? Anyway, uh, um, it was just pandemonium. And you're literally struggling, well, I was struggling to catch my breath. I was being crushed, right? Literally, physically crushed in amongst this push, which I hope you get to see, right? Not me, but you, uh, a version of an actual pike push, right? And uh, anyway, the battle went on, and we were all dragged off and done this and done this, and then all the brigade come, and they're all shouting who, who's and how's and firing the muskets, and then the horse cavalry go in. That blows your mind. There's no, there's no acting, that it's, it's almost for real, you know? It's unbelievable. You, it, there's been actually fatalities in, in the sealed knot, people killed. Um, cavalry charges and whatever, but the cannons are going off full blast. You got muskets, swords, and I'm I'm not kidding. These swords don't have tips on them, right? Cavalry charges, and I thought, wow. And it, funnily enough, it was the, the Master Kane blog that I discovered. Got me adrenaline going to think, wow. You know, th that was a great blog he did. And I thought, oh, yeah, I've got a lot of interesting stuff in my background. I could probably put out there, you know. Um, just to share, and that incidentally, if if there are any sealed nutters uh, viewing this, do click subscribe, look for notifications, because um, I do vlog off off the manner kind of thing, off the cuff. Um, there doesn't seem to be any formula to, to my methods of, of, or style of vlogging apart from swinging aloft in this hammock. And incidentally, for those who are new, this entire area, several hundred yards long, several hundred yards wide, several buildings abandoned, uh, derelict, not, well, yeah, almost derelict. Um, guy popped himself. The, the Bank of Bangkok has taken it over, but it's been left to, because no, one, no one's ever going to buy it because of the voodoo suspicion. But anyway, uh, yeah, um, the sealed knot. Uh, yeah, I'm really hoping to connect with some members because I did think if I ever went back to the UK, I would love to be a part of that team again, but I would no way friggin' in a million years sign up as a pikeman. So there you go. So hopefully, and actually I'm happy to report Saturday, yeah, okay. There's been a complete lack of the racket coming over from this cement factory that's just gone into full blast business opposite me, several hundred yards away. And I thought, this is going to ruin my vlogging because all of the, the tailboards, when they're dropping the gravel uh, into the silos and that kind of stuff, they crash, bang, crash, bang. And this has been going on all through the day. And I thought, oh, bugger. But anyway, so it appears to be a Saturday, maybe a decent day to carry on vlogging. Um, but it's difficult to vlog after the. You might get something from over here after um, daytime because the light drops incredibly quick in here. And the area where I've got this can, uh, hammock is one of the coolest, shadiest places I can find on here. There are shadier, but you can't you can't see that the light is too subdued for that, you know. But anyway, rant well not rant over, blather. That's an English expression. I've been on a blather. Uh, just to show off a bit of enthusiasm to get back, uh, see how this vlog works out, and hope that people are, are what's the word for it? A gog by what these people do in a battle, but, you know, in the sealed, as sealed not nutters, that, which they truly are. But the real ale, oh my God, when you're on site and you're there for the weekend or a long weekend, 
the ladies are wonderful fun believe me absolutely brilliant and their natural costumes are very fetching <laughs> okay i'm gonna lean over thanks for watching come back for a bit more malarkey sub and click for notifications for any further nonsense thank you bye bye Whoa.